Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are celebrating me hitting 300,000 subscribers, which is legitimately insane to me. I just wanna say thank you everyone who has subscribed to me and watches my videos and is watching this video. Um, you guys are just the best and I appreciate every single one of you so much. I would not be here without your views, obviously. So just thank you so much. Because I hit 300,000 subscribers, we are doing a cheat day. Because I feel like the number one comment I've been getting is people asking me when I'm gonna be doing another cheat day. And today is the day, my friends. So I'm gonna be doing it like I do my normal cheat days where I copy what Stephanie Buttermore does. And I'm not going to be counting my calories throughout the day. I'm just gonna be eating until I feel reasonably full. And then when I edit, I'm going to go back and count the amount of calories that I ate so we can kind of see like how much it takes to actually fill me up because I can eat a lot. I don't know exactly what I'm gonna eat today, but I do have some things that I have planned out that I for sure want to eat. So we're going to kind of see where the day takes us. And to begin today, because like I said, we're celebrating at 300,000 subscribers. I'm going to have cake for breakfast. So <laughs> my wonderful sister, who if you've watched my videos before, you probably know who she is. She is an insane baker and she made me this wonderful 300,000 subscribers cake. I'm so excited to eat this. She made it funfetti flavored or like birthday cake flavored because it's a celebration. So and then it has like sprinkles on top and she made it drip down the side and it just is decorated beautifully. Like I almost don't want to eat it, but we're going to cut a slice right now because let's just get this cheat day started. You know what I'm saying? I want to cut it so you guys can see it. I'll cut right here. I'm gonna stand up, I think. <laughs> this is so heavy. Oh my god. Yay! It looks so pretty. Look at the inside. Oh my gosh. So I might eat more than this, I honestly don't know. It depends on how full I get, but let's just take our first bite. Dude, that is so good. Mmm. The buttercream is amazing and it's cold like I said in my most recent tasty cake video I like when my cake is cold because then the frosting is really cold and then it's hard so this is just divine right now And then this is just um, flavored water. I've been using these little like Mio drops. You can get them at the store. So that's why it's orange. It's just like literally water flavor. It just helps me drink more water because I suck at drinking water. Mmm. I feel like I'm eating this like really strangely. Mm. I can't believe I waxed this. 
I'm almost done and it's been like eight minutes. Mm. She knows I like frosting, <laughs> so she put so much on there that I just finished all the cake without finishing all the frosting, which legit never happens to me. <laughs> so I'm still kind of hungry, but it's literally only like 8.45 right now, so I don't want to like totally destroy myself before I have like all the other stuff that I want to try today, so I'm going to have a little bit more though because it's so good that I just like <laughs> can't not have a little bit more. I suck at cutting cake, dude. This is like pathetic. I just cannot get over how pretty the inside looks, dude. Like, I can't. Mmm. <clears throat> last piece of the cake because once again there's so much frosting that I'm finishing the cake before I finish the frosting mm. so like I said this is all frosting <laughs> which I'm not gonna eat because I'm kind of getting sugared out I just don't want to get ahead of myself before I actually like get into the rest of the stuff that I'm gonna eat today. It's such a good thing to start off the day with. Sarah, I know you're watching, thank you so much. I've already thanked you, but thank you so much for making me this. So I am on my way to the gym now to actually meet Sarah. We're gonna go work out together. So I will see you guys in about two hours. I'm really excited. I know what I wanna get next, and I'm really excited to try it. So I will just see you guys then. So I just had the most probably intense workout of my entire life. <laughs> at the gym i don't know if it was the cake or if it was just the workout but i genuinely felt like i was gonna throw up <laughs> so it's a good one it's definitely painful but if you're interested in it i'm gonna post it i worked out with sarah so i'm gonna post it on my fitness instagram so i'll pop up the name on the screen if you want to go check that out but yeah that was fucking hard but i worked up um quite an appetite now because that was very hard like i said so now i'm hungry and the next thing I'm going to get is Sonic because I really wanted to try their new cookie dough blast because it just looks amazing. So that's what we're going to go right now. I've never been to Sonic before, so I think I'm going to get some of their food. But then the main reason why I'm going is because I want their cookie dough thing. So let's go. I think it's like 10 minutes from here, so I'll be there very shortly. So I see that there is little windows you can drive up to but I honestly don't know how that works so we are just going to go through the drive through I guess um could I please get one foot long quarter pound coney could I get one double cheeseburger and then could I also get uh the new cookie dough blast the large size okay for the blast we actually don't have any more of the real cookie dough that we put on top Just extra cookie dough in it? Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Okay. Okay, so I guess they're unfortunately out of the cookie dough that they put on top. Like, if you've seen photos of the new cookie dough blast, they usually put a scoop of it on top, and I guess they don't have any more of that. So she said she's just gonna put more cookie dough in it, which I can't complain about. So I'm technically not taste testing the OG cookie dough blast, but I am tasting an extra cookie dough blast. So we'll have to see how that is. <laughs> Yeah, the cheeseburger is a foot long and the big scoop. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay, so let's just get started on eating stuff. Okay, so I'm actually gonna try the cookie dough blast first. I'm so excited. Oh my god. <laughs> I've been on such an ice cream kick lately that 
I just cannot wait for this. So yeah, you can see it doesn't have that big scoop of cookie dough on there, but it does have a whole bunch of cookie dough on there though. So she hooked it up. Oh my God, there's so much cookie dough in here. Yes, oh my God, look. You can see all the cookie dough. Like right here, I don't know if that'll show. So much. Look at all that! Oh my god, she gave me so much cookie dough. I'm so excited. Look! Mmm! Wow. <laughs> this is so good. It's exactly what it looks like if you imagine vanilla ice cream or like. Yeah, it's pretty much like ice cream with cookie dough in it. But. Like way more cookie dough than you get at the store. Wow. Wow. Like that's just freaking entirely cookie dough right there. So now I want to try their double cheeseburger, which I don't even know. I've never heard if they're good or not. I just like kind of wanted one. Okay, ooh, I see I don't like tomatoes, so I'm gonna take out my tomato. Okay. Mm -hmm. I actually love that. This is legit so good, like, I don't know if it's just hitting the spot, like, I don't know if these are normally that good, but this is, like, really good. Mm-hmm. I wasn't planning to eat this whole thing, but <laughs> I think I might.
that was <laughs> obviously way better than I was expecting. I haven't really been rating that stuff today, huh? I guess I'll rate now. The cake, nine. The cookie dough blast, seven and a half. Then the burger was another nine. So we still have one more thing to try. And it is the iconic quarter pounder <laughs> the iconic i can't remember its name but it's basically their chili cheese dog i've wanted to eat these for so long like i've wanted to try this for so long mm. and surprisingly like i still like the burger more like a lot more this is good though But it's just like not as satisfying as I thought it was going to be. Now the burger on the other hand was super satisfying. I would say this is like a seven, maybe a six and a half. It might be because I'm just like I'm kind of getting full though. So I can't really like judge it fairly. take one more bite of it though because that bite looks good um so I'm actually super full now the burger just hit me like a ton of breaks so now I think I'm about to go home and shower and maybe lay down for a bit. I know Sarah and I are gonna go on a walk later. So I'm gonna lay down and then probably be out. What time is it now? It's like one. Okay, yeah. So I'll probably be out in a couple hours or so. Um, I think I know what I wanna get next, but I'm not 100% sure. But I will just see you guys next time then I'm gonna eat something. Hey guys, so it's now 3.50. I know I haven't showed you the time a single time today, but I am now. And I chilled for a hot minute at home. And I'm finally, my appetite is back now. And we are gonna go get something sweet because I was gonna say I haven't had many sweets today, but that would be a lie. I just really want a cinnamon roll right now. So guess where we're gonna go, bitch? We're going to Cinnabon. So I totally forgot that it's actually at the mall. <laughs> I don't know, I mean, I feel like every Cinnabon's at the mall, but I just forgot. And this mall is the mall that I used to go to all the time when I was in high school and middle school. So I just, really hope I don't see someone I know. I'm not gonna bring my camera with me because if I do see someone I know and they do know that I film YouTube videos and then I have my camera with me, oh, that's asking for an unwanted conversation. So <laughs> I will just leave my camera here, go get the roll, and then be right back. I successfully got my Cinnabon. I moved my car so I could have better lighting I think I hope this is better lighting so this is what it looks like it doesn't look so the last time that I had Cinnabon was in my 10k calorie challenge and that was over a year ago so I haven't had Cinnabon in forever and it doesn't look as uh frosting y it doesn't look like it has as much frosting as I remember it but I guess I'll just have to see if it tastes the same or what it tastes like. I mean, I'm excited, but I feel like even though there's not as much frosting, it's still gonna be so good. Like my mouth is watering right now. Oh my God. Okay, Ooh, I need to just pick it up, take a bite. <laughs> Dude. I truly think that Cinnabon has the best cinnamon rolls like in the world. I don't know how you can beat this. Like, mm. <laughs> I just watched this man. Oh my God. I just watched this man 
pull a carrot out of his front pocket. You know when guys like have work pockets or work shirts? He pulled a full on carrot out of his pocket and now he's munching on it. Ah, I can't believe I just witnessed that. Anyways. <laughs> It's so messy, but so freaking good. The summer is my favorite. I don't even have much to say right now. <laughs> Sorry, this is literally just me eating. I've just been like munching on this and not talking, but. You can see like the back of the roll. I hope that is focusing, but like it's so buttery right there. Mmm, oh my God, and it's like running down my hand. <laughs> okay, last bite. So that was amazing. Even though I'm like not super hungry, that was really easy to eat. I don't know. It was super easy. My 10K challenge too. I don't know how people like get sick of those. I feel like I could eat a box of six and like it would be no problem. Um, that was my cinnamon roll escapade for today. So now I'm about to go meet Sarah. We're going to go on a walk. Um, that's the key to these cheat days, my friends. If you're struggling to put away more food, just go on a walk. It does wonders. So we're going to go on a walk, and then I think she's going to accompany me on my next stop, which I have a feeling I know where I want to go, but my mind might change, so I don't want to say it on camera and then, like, not go there. So I will just see you guys when I get there. Hey, guys. So I technically lied because Sarah is not with me yet. Um, we did just go on a walk, and I promise she will make an appearance later, but uh, she had to go to the grocery store, and they were about to close. And so she is just not here right now. But on the plus side, I'm on my way to go get something else to eat because our walk, it worked, guys, I'm telling you. And now I'm hungry again and I'm ready to go eat. After eating the burger from Sonic, I am in the mood for something savory again. And so I was going to go to Costco. I really wanted to get Costco pizza. Uh, but it's 730 right now and they close at 8 and it takes like 20 minutes to get there. And so I just, I don't think I would have made it in time. So instead I decided that I wanted to go to Jersey Mike's because for one, I just did that tasty cake video where I tried all the tasty cake stuff and apparently Jersey Mike's sells tasty cakes. So I'm going to check that out, hopefully. I don't know if they sell them actually in Washington, but I got a comment from someone, I forget who it was, I'm sorry, but they said, that you can get tasty cakes at Jersey Mike's, so I'm gonna see if I can get some of that. And then I also am going to get obviously a sandwich because I'm in the mood for something savory. Okay, so I just got back from Jersey Mike's and they did have tasty cakes. So I just got the butterscotch crimpet because that was one of my favorites. They only had the crimpets, they had the peanut butter candy cakes, and then they had what else? They had one other. They had, clearly it wasn't an, important enough for me to remember, so. <laughs> so I'm gonna eat one of these first before I get into my sandwich. I wonder if this one will taste like marshmallow too because it's supposed to be butterscotch, you see? Um, but I swear last time it tasted like marshmallow. Yep. It tastes like I'm legit eating a huge ass marshmallow. Okay, so now oh my gosh, that smells so good. 
So this is their Chipotle cheesesteak. So it's number 43 if you want to get it. it. Just looked the best to me. Like all, out of all the stuff they had on their menu. So. I think what they said is that they added chipotle mayo. I could be wrong, but it's so good. Mm. They're just something so satisfying. It got really loud all of a sudden. Oh, it's a bunch of... um. Kids, it looks like they went to the movies and their mom's driving them. Oh, that's so cute. Um, so anyways, like I was saying, there's something so satisfying about a hot sandwich for some reason. Like, I don't know. Mm. I would say this is like... Mmm an eight and a half out of ten yeah it's really good finding out about this stuff is gonna be dangerous because usually on my other cheat days like obviously I can't fit a, a huge cinnamon roll into my macros but I could be like no oh, this has meat in it I could fit it in my macros <laughs> even though I can't and I'll just try to eat it. Here. First off, you can see the steam rising off of it. And then hopefully you'll be able to see like how much sauce there is on it. Which is what makes it so good. It's like dripping all over me though. <laughs> It's like getting better as I go because there's more sauce on this side of the sandwich. Once again, did not think I was going to end up eating this whole thing, but yet here I am. <laughs> mm. I feel like I just underestimate myself sometimes. I'm actually not really that full right now, surprisingly. I don't get it. Like, why does a piece of cake kill me? And then a huge sandwich. Like, I feel fine. I don't get it. Because I'm still on a roll. I'm about to go stop at McDonald's. And I think that's going to be the last, like, official stop that I make because I still have something at home that I want to try. Um, literally try. It's like a taste testing thing. But it's getting pretty late, so I don't have, like, that much time to go other places. What time is it? It is now 8.30, which I know seems like a crazy amount of time that has passed because I was leaving at 7.30. But there was, like, this woman in front of me at... I want to keep calling it Jimmy John's, Jersey Mike's, and she had like six sandwiches, so it took a while. But anyways, I'm going to go stop at McDonald's because I'm on a roll and there's not much time for me to go anywhere else. Um, and I want to get a McChicken because I haven't had a McChicken in forever. I said it in a couple videos, but the McChicken used to be my legit favorite thing ever at McDonald's. I honestly don't know if they even still have it on the menu. Like, I truly don't even know. So we're just going to drive up. I'm going to try to order it. And we're going to see what they say. Okay, so yeah, I don't even know if they make the McChicken anymore. <laughs> I'm just going to order it and see what happens. Oh, they have a mini meat slushy. I want that. I'm getting that. Hi. Um, do you guys still have McChickens? Yeah. Can I please get one McChicken and then one um, medium, actually a small please, blue raspberry slushy? <laughs> he was like so unamused. Why am I slushy? Hi. Thank you. You too. Okay, I'm gonna try to steal some lighting from 
like a storefront or something. Let's look for some. Mm, not bright enough. Do I look more illuminated now? I'm like facing these two big lights. I'm so excited to try this. That's so refreshing, oh my god. Ugh. I could easily suck this down, wow. It is legit like a slushy, but better. Wow, I wanna try the other flavors now too. On to my McChicken. Oh, I just got a brain freeze from that. Okay, so this looks exactly like I remember it looking. Like this is the same wrapping they had. And yeah, it looks exactly the same. Thank God there's actually stuff on it this time unlike the last time I got one and that lady ordered it freaking plain. So it looks exactly like how I remember it. So I have a feeling it's gonna taste like I remember it, which excites me. So let's just, get, let's just take a bite already. Oh my god, that bite took me like exactly back to my childhood. I haven't had one of these easily since middle school. I would like, I would put money on that. Mm. I'm gonna FaceTime Sarah. I don't know if she's gonna answer because I think she's in the shower. But I wanna tell her they're just as good as I remember them. Hey. Are you in the shower? No, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. I'm making my oats and my, my breast turn up buzzing. Oh, you can talk on your Apple Watch? Yeah, I guess so. That's cool. I wanted to tell you that I just got a McChicken and it tastes exactly like I remember it. Did you love it? Yes, dude, it's so good. Like, the second I bit into it, I was like, that's exactly what it used to taste like. <laughs> it's cool, they haven't changed the recipe. The thing I love about McChickens is they're so, like, light and refreshing, kind of. Yeah, like they're so simple. It's literally just mayo, lettuce, chicken, and then that's it. Ugh. I'm like technically in the middle of filming, but I wanted to call you and update you before you got in the shower. Okay, expect me at like 9.15. Okay, I'll see you soon. I love you. Bye. Love you too. Okay, anyways, back to my mate chicken. So, I'm just going to have a little bit more of this and save the rest for Sarah um, so she can try it. Yeah, that was amazing. I would say the McChicken's like a 9 out of 10 to me. I mean, it's obviously like there's better sandwiches out there, but just because it's like my childhood, I just... I needed that so that was really good so now I'm going to drive back home and Sarah's gonna meet me there um I don't know if she's gonna even be in this video but she will be there while I'm eating I don't know if she's gonna want to be on camera or not so yeah I'm just gonna drive home rest a bit and then I'm gonna eat my last thing of the day I would say now that the sandwich is like starting to catch up with me <laughs> I would say I'm like an eight and a half nine out of ten full so I'm pretty full not it's not unbearable so yeah I'm definitely gonna go home and finish off what I planned to eat because I bought this a couple days ago. So yeah, I will just see you guys in like an hour or so. Hi guys. So it's actually been quite a bit since I last had the Jersey Mike's and the McDonald's. The sandwich hit me late. Like I just got so full. <laughs> so now it's like 10 o'clock and I'm finally ready to finish the day off with what I had planned from the very beginning that I wanted to try. And Sarah's outside talking on the phone, so I know I said she, I promised she would be in this video. She should be coming in anytime soon. I just didn't want to wait any longer to film because if I waited any longer, it, it would just be like midnight and then it's not a cheat day because I go into the next day. So I'm just gonna start without her. I think she's gonna hang out on the couch behind me. 
when she comes in. So what I got from the store is a whole bunch of the Talenti gelato layers. So I've been wanting to try these so bad ever since I've seen them in the grocery store. Whenever I see them, I'm just like, those look so good because my favorite part about ice cream is like when it has stuff in it. And so these all have like stuff on the inside. So I got every single flavor. <laughs> Um, I got them at Target. Basically, I'm just going to be trying each one and <laughs> kind of seeing which one I like best. So let's start off with Black Raspberry Vanilla Parfait. So this is what the inside looks like. And then it just has like cookies. So it says it has vanilla gelato black raspberry gelato, oat crisps, and then blackberry sauce right here. So that sounds good. Yum, okay. Wow, okay. What this actually reminds me of is when I was a kid, every summer, my sister, my mom, and I used to pick blackberries because they grow like crazy in our neighborhood. And then we would blend them with vanilla ice cream and make blackberry shakes, and that's what this reminds me of. And the crumbles are so good, too. You can't really see them, but I'm getting them because it's they're like right here. I just tried the first flavor. And what do you think? <laughs> it's really good. I was saying it reminds me of, because it's blackberry, it reminds me of when we would make blackberry shakes. That's literally what it tastes like. Do you remember that one time when you were upset in the backyard? And I was like, oh God, I know it will make Megan happy and I make you a blackberry shake. I do, do remember, you remember that? that. And I think you are just a salad too. You were despondent. Why? Being a just dramatic like being ass, dramatic. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, you want to ask me? Yeah. So what flavor is this again? Blackberry. Black raspberry vanilla parfait. Oh, black raspberry. So what's the difference between a blackberry and a black raspberry? I don't know. It tastes like blackberry though. The black raspberry vanilla parfait is like a seven and a half out of ten. I That's would say. Pretty good. Uh, Ooh. Ooh, next. Ooh, we got some stuff at the bottom. <laughs> I know. <laughs> so this is the chocolate cherry cheesecake flavor. Ooh, it has cheesecake gelato, chocolate chunks, graham cookies at the bottom, black cherry sauce, and that's it. Ooh, that looks good. See, this sounds really good to me. The black cherry. See, I don't know if I like chocolate and cherries together. I love chocolate and cherries. This looks pretty on the inside, huh? Look. And if you guys are wondering why she's not eating it, it's because she doesn't eat dairy. Yeah. Yeah, see, we can get everything. <laughs> okay, we got more to get the and whole box in way around. Get it all. I'm not going to be able to in the second. Put a little bit on your, and then keep digging. That sucks at like, yes, a taste test, but you, <laughs> the bottom yeah. is like the best part on a lot of these. Uh -huh. and tap. So what is the bottom is the cheesecake part? No, the bottom is graham cookies. And then it's apparently cheesecake gelato, but I just taste the cherry. So it's not good. It would have been good, I think, if they didn't have the chocolate chunks in here. Because I don't like chocolate and cherry. Well, it's a bummer, because you're not going to like dark chocolate cherry then. Or maybe the chocolate itself would be make it better. Dude, I'm trying to get some of these freaking graham cookies. Are you getting any? Yeah, a little bit. That part's good. Those are good, yeah. Good. Those are really good, yeah. Mm. Oops. 
I would say this one is like a 6 out of 10. Not great. Can I pick the next one? Yeah. Salted caramel? <laughs> So next I'm gonna have the salted caramel truffle, which is the one I was most excited for. Looks like they have two types of, they have a layer of chocolate chips and a layer of, oh yeah. I think those are caramel filled. Wait, I'm gonna zoom in. What does it say? Sea salt caramel gelato, chocolate cookies. I think that's like this part. Like maybe, like what do you, like Oreo or something? Yeah. Dulce de leche. Dolce de leche. Dolce de leche. <laughs> <laughs> and then caramel truffles at the bottom. Vanilla gelato, you forgot. Oh yeah, and vanilla, ge about. vanilla gelato. That sounds good. I don't know how you could go wrong. Yeah, you really can. But I think it's some water. Thick shorts. Ooh, this one was easy to get all the stuff in it. Why? Because they're getting more melty. Ooh, that looks so good. Doesn't that? Yeah. Oh, I can't imagine it going wrong. Oh my gosh, that's so good. I didn't get anything at the bottom though, so I'm gonna get some stuff at the bottom. So it's only gonna get better, is yeah. what you're saying? Cause I didn't get any caramel truffles. This is so good. <laughs> I'm laughing at you. Why? <laughs> I'm just like, I was in the refinery, you're just like, yeah. <laughs> I wish you would try it. Mmm. Ice cream's so easy to eat. It really is. It's like soup. Yeah, it's like, it's like, <laughs> like, it's just like, feels like nothing. <laughs> I would say this one's a nine and a half. Mint fudge cookie. Which is like covered in ice. I wonder if it'll be the same cookie that was in the. Oh yeah, it looks like it. Yeah, I think so. Mhm. Mm then what? Like just like chocolate chips at the bottom? Yeah, read it. It says, mint gelato, cookie crumbs, fudge, fudge sauce, sauce. and more mint gelato, and then chocolate cookie. Mhm. Mm so more chocolate cookie. So it's like a whole lot of. Double up on the a whole lot of chocolate, a whole lot of mint. Don't be. You got it, babe. I will not fail. You will not. I will not let you fail. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. You got it. Oh. oh no no no! I loosened it up though. Oh yeah, I did. <sighs> I could sense that. That's so sad. It's like most people do not struggle to open up <laughs> ice cream thing. No. Every single time I have to open up a jar, I dread it. Because I know it's not going to be I easy. I pop these open secretly? <laughs> no, just... <laughs> this next one. We already talked about it, huh? Okay. I'm just going to get... Do you see how soft that was? You think it's because they're melting? I don't know. <gasps> Dang. Yeah, because the first one was really hard. That was so easy to get all the way to the bottom. Ooh, my mouth's watering. I love mint ice cream. Yeah. Wow, the fudge sauce is so good. I've never had fudge with mint before, I don't think. That's actually like the perfect combination, too, mm -hmm. since everyone loves chocolate and, and mint. mint. Yeah. What do you rate that one? I would say this one is another nine and a half. It's like the same as the salted caramel. Really? Mm -hmm. Wow. Maybe this one will beat it. What is, yeah, let's read about it because I'm interested <laughs> in what the bottom part is. <laughs> peanut butter gelato at the mm. top. Oop, I'm not even on. Maybe it'll be extra creamy because it's peanut butter. Peanut butter cups. Fudge sauce, vanilla gelato, peanut butter cookies. This might be the winner. Jesus, these are so hard to open. Ah. <laughs> Hot diggity damn. Hot diggity damn.
Yeah. Ooh, it smells it. You can actually smell it. Oh my gosh. I love peanut butter. Dude, divine. I'm gonna go where there's the most cookies at the bottom. Easily that corner. Oh, is it soft again? Am I about to elbow you? Yeah. Sorry. It's okay. <laughs> I'm just going at it. Look at that bite. It's a big old bite. Yeah. Oh, I knew it. Oh, dang. Oh, I knew it. Oh, dang. I love that. <laughs> oh, dang. Oh, dang. <laughs> I hate the way you say dang. It's like so PG. <laughs> Look at that bite. That's what's so cool about this. It's like perfect. Mm -hmm. Reminds me of when you get like frozen yogurt and it's like everything's at the top but like this is like mm -hmm. layered yeah what is the bottom thing like what is that they're just like like what like cookie dough balls but peanut butter flavor that's what it looks like it looks like i just wonder like what is it like is it crunchy let's find out no you can like mash it like look it turns all mashed oh. huh so the cookie dough the cookie things at the bottom are like soft kind of Yeah, that's interesting. Right there. Let's do this one because you might not like it. I'm getting full. <laughs> Let me try, babe. You get called upon, your hands get weak. What's <laughs> happening? You all the bottom. When you're called upon, <laughs> I ain't gonna have any room then. How does you want me to hold it? Well, this is fine. I, oh. think. I was just hoping you hold your sweater so it's like, I mean, you're doing a pretty good job. Good ah! Good job of gripping it. Oh, but I, but I, but I. <laughs> no, because you're not. It's slipping now. I'm going to take care of this one. Dang. It's like hecka soft. Oh, it's yeah. Like... <laughs> okay, we're going we're gonna to do one well, that's kind of three. I'm getting tired. One, two, three! Yeah! I got it! <laughs> I told you I have a lot left. I just feel tired. <laughs> this one's hard. We never open it. We never get to try this one. Dude, we're like mixing it up. Like it's not even layered anymore. <laughs> You're literally just smooth. <laughs> There's no layers anymore, <laughs> but it does have dark chocolate gelato, chocolate chunks, black cherry sauce, and fudge truffles. What if you love this one? I know, right? Ooh, that's Very okay. soft, yeah. No. Mm -mm. I guess because of the black cherry sauce, I think. Well, at least we have the other one open. Mm -hmm. Last one, vanilla fudge cookie. It has dark chocolate gelato, chocolate cookies, fudge sauce. We love, you love all the fudge sauce ones. Mm -hmm. Vanilla bean gelato, which that's a new flavor. Broken, broken waffle, waffle cone. cone. What? Doesn't look like a broken waffle cone. Yeah, I'm confused. We'll find out. You'll find out, I'll start to believe you. <laughs> Yeah. That's like the stuff that's in moose tracks. That that I chocolate love stuff, that moose fudge tracks. stuff. I love moose tracks. That's the coolest name for ice cream too. This is really good. Yeah? Yeah. Is it gonna be rated as high as the peanut butter and the mint? I'm gonna try them next to each other now. Wait, what was the highest? Salted one? The peanut caramel. butter and the mint and the Oh did I not rate the peanut butter? Maybe you didn't rate the peanut butter. 
I would say that's a nine. Forget Actually, nine rated. and a half, because that's what I rated the salted caramel and the. So they're all tied. Mint. Yeah. yeah. So then you have to you have to pick a top. Mm -hmm. So I'll try them all next to each other. I'm gonna try another bite of the salted caramel truffle. Okay. Another bite of the mint fudge cookie. And one more bite of the peanut butter vanilla fudge. That's a winner. Mm hmm That's a number one, then salted caramel, and then mint. And that's the end of my cheat day. Okay, so that is the end of my cheat day, and it's late now, and I'm probably like a 9 out of 10 fullness. There's no time to get anything else, so that's going to be the end of my cheat day, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Do you have anything you want to add? I was going to ask, like... Cause you rated these nine and a half, but like what would be, cause you rated that peanut butter one nine and a half. What is a tell them of peanut butter chocolate? It's like a 10. Okay, so these aren't like the top yeah. of the top. Cause it's, I don't think the ice cream's as good. I like tell them like ice cream better, you know? Just like the mm -hmm. creaminess of it. So I hope you guys enjoyed my first cheat day in like six or seven months, and I hope it was worth the wait. But that's pretty much all I have to say for this video. So, gonna peace out. Thank you guys for watching.